Yes, guys, it's Tom the One Variety Streamer here, and I'm here to talk about how we can stop you from getting those copyright strikes. This is one question that I hear quite a lot, especially new streamers and small streamers. You know, people want to know how you can listen to music through Spotify without getting those pesky copyright strikes and your VOD muted or sections of your VOD muted. And then, you know, you get the copyright warnings like a couple of days later after the VOD's been uploaded, you know, and you get instant panic. As soon as you see that alert, you're like, oh no, you're like, like, no, like, please do not give me a copyright strike. So really simple. Honestly, it's so simple. Now it all depends on the setup that you've got. So the setup I use is Wavelink. Honestly, it's so simple. Maybe you want to listen to some Bring Me The Horizon. Maybe you want to listen to some Oasis. Maybe you want to listen to some, I don't know, Cardi B. I don't know. I don't care what you want to listen to. So I have my audio source set up as music. It comes under music. Now there's three little dots down here at the bottom. If you go to the advanced audio properties and if you scroll down, try and find your music section so mine is here music section um uncheck track number two that is step number one make sure track number two is unchecked you want to go over the file and you want to go over to your settings uh basically so you want to go to output what you want to do is you want to go to the output mode make sure it's in advanced not simple you can do it in a simple way but advanced makes it a bit more clearer if you follow this guide your audio track down here in the streaming section, you wanna make sure your audio track number one is selected and then all the other tracks are unselected. And then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your Twitch VOD track, make sure that is ticked. There is a, there should be a little tick box there and then make sure everything else is unselected except for track number two. Away you go. You can listen to your music in peace you don't need to worry about any copyright strikes uh, coming your way because your VODs, because your VOD will automatically not record the music. Um, so when your VOD's uploaded to Twitch, if you have music playing in the background and say you're doing a just chatting screen and you've got music like lo-fi, like, like low-key playing in the background, you, you won't hear it. You will literally just hear the sound of your own voice. And maybe if you've got channel effects or sat, you know, like channel points that make noises, then yeah. You've got to be really careful with channel points. I have found, oh, I have a redemption on my channel, which is Sabotage. And it plays a small snippet of the Sabotage song from the Beastie Boys. Now, occasionally, that section of my VOD will be muted because that switching the VOD tracks off does not hide the channel point redemptions. Uh, but if you want to listen to Spotify, go ahead. Do it. Now, there was another way to do this if you don't have a wavelength. And if you basically, you're just using your headset, um, if you don't have a mixer um, to use, you can actually add a application audio capture beta. Basically, that is your audio source. So you select where the audio source is gonna come from. You'll get a drop down list. You'll get, you can choose like Spotify. You can choose, I don't know, Amazon Music, Apple Music. Uh, and literally the same process. You'll find it down here in your audio mixer. You go to your advanced properties, make sure your tracks are unselected and go into the settings and do the same thing again. I hope that helps. Only a short guide, um, but it's good to know these things. And it's basically people ask that question or people are always asking the question, how do I remove this? How do you get to play your own music? I don't want to play copyright free music because I don't like it. Um, some copyright free music is okay. Harris Heller does a great job. Um, he introduced his own copyright free music uh, when COVID was about, and a lot of people used Harry's Heller music, you can find through Spotify, YouTube, um, you know, and it's copyright free basically. But this way you don't have to do that. If you like this video and you found it quite informative, uh, please drop it a like, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you want to follow me on Twitch for behind the scenes, the link is in my bio and it is also in the description of this video along with my other socials on Instagram and X. Um, so I hope to see you around.